Hey everybody, I'm going to take a little video of the boat that I built before I put it up for sale. I've had some friends and other people ask me if I could take some pictures and video of it. That way, if they ever wanted to build something like this, they could kind of have an idea of how it was made. But uh, I built this little boat seven years ago. It's all made out of half-inch marine-grade plywood with uh, tight bond waterproof glue. Um, it's got stainless steel screws, several coats of Rust-Oleum paint, and several coats of polyurethane on it. I didn't fiberglass it, but it could easy, easily be fiberglassed. Um, I've used it I don't, dozens and dozens of times with the kids. I've never had a leak, never had wood separation or anything like that from it. It's a solid boat. I had it inspected by the Missouri Highway Patrol, uh, so it's got a whole identification number and a title and everything like that with it. Um, I've got lights on it. Diamond diamond tread plates everywhere, uh, the back of it. I had a little two-horsepower Sea King uh, outboard to push this thing about 12 miles an hour. It's got a fish finder, uh, rod holders in the back. The seat's removable, or you could slide it back and forth. It just sits on the two outside rails. Got a uh, light panel here, 12-volt outlet in case you need to charge something or use 12 volts for any, any sources. Uh, the middle seat raises up. You could put a live well under there. I just have a batter. It used to have a whole bunch of stuff stored, but I don't, I don't use it so much anymore because the kids have outgrown it. But rod holders in the front. Um, the front casting deck has got a little access panel right here. You can pull up. It's about a foot deep, maybe two foot long in the front. So you got a lot of storage for life jackets and stuff like that. Um, let me see, the rub rail is electrical conduit that doubles as uh, how I run my electrical wires from front to back. You know, the battery's up in the sec center section. I've got some power ran to the back for a trolling motor, uh, of course, the fish finder and lights and stuff like that. So that's how I run the wiring is through the, the conduit. Uh, navigation lights in front, more tie-off cleats. Um, Anywhere I thought there was going to be a chance of abrasion, I've got bed liner on it. That way, if you uh, pull up on the trailer or pull up on the bank, you've got rub boards on the bottom that's got bed liner on it. So I've tried to account for anything that could possibly remove paint and cause a problem with uh, access to the wood. So never had a problem with it. Uh, like I said, this boat's seven years old. We've had it out several summers, uh, had a lot of fun in it. We're just, uh, like I said, just outgrown it. So I'm going to get it put up for sale. So I'll show you a video of how this thing folds up. It's pretty simple in concept. Took a little while to figure it out so that everything came out just right, but uh, it's a clamshell design. First thing you got to do is get everything below deck level because it does fold up and rest on itself. So um, fish finder is on a wing nut. You just pivot it down. I'll turn these lights off. Put that bottom light down, take the rods out. And then you take the rear seat out so you can do the clamshell effect. So the first thing you do is you take you fold the front half in, so grab the front half. Rest it on the center seat, and then you grab the back half and you fold it up and over. And just let it rest on the front. And uh, there you have a boat that takes a very little footprint in the garage. Uh, the trailer is one of those little four foot by four foot Harbor Freight trailers. I extended it to six foot just so I could have a little more stability when I'm standing in the boat when it's on the trailer. But you could actually cut the trailer or leave it the way it is when you get it from Harbor Freight. And you got a boat in your garage that takes up a four foot by four foot footprint. So this is perfect if you don't have a lot of room or you've got an HOA that doesn't allow boats in the driveway or a situation like that where you need to keep it inside, but you don't want to have to walk around it all year long. Um, let me see. I've got, I've got rub, rub panels on the bottom. I think those are one by six, one by fours. Coated those in bed liner. That way you don't have to worry about rubbing through onto the paint or anything like that. Um, three separate sections. Here's what I'm talking about. My wiring runs through the conduit, is hinged. That way you got a place for the wiring to go. I, uh, bed line the front and back of each one of the boxes. This is old residue. I had a piece of foam across the, across each one because I was afraid folded up in the water. These would rub together and rub the, um, bed liner off, but it didn't. So foam came off and I just left it off. 
Anyway, I'll show you a little video of this thing coming back apart. That way, if you need to see it again, it gives you another idea of how it works. Take it back. Pull it down. Take the front. Pull it back down, and there you have it. Pretty simple. Anyway, hope you all enjoyed that. Uh, the boat, I failed to mention, it's about 10 and a half foot long, 4 foot wide. Um, you just got to come up with the design so that way everything fits inside each other. But it's been a great boat. Hate to see it go, but I don't I don't have room to store three or four boats throughout my kids' <laughs> life. So anyway, hope you enjoyed it.